Now we're not gonna go with leaked benchmarks we've saw on the internet recently. We are going to go with a tech power up review of the GPU itself. So they got the RX 5500 and OEM version of it. And from what it looks like, price tag should be somewhere around 150 all the way down to 130 bucks. I guess it will not go over the GTX 1650 Super. I mean, one of the advantages or the pros that AMD have over Nvidia is that they have, you know, cheaper prices on graphics cards with the same performance. And when we are looking at the benchmark, it gives you a performance close to the GTX 1650 Super. I mean, I will leave a link to the review down in the description so you can check it out. But on the average of games, it's pretty much the same on 1080p with the GTX 1650 Super. A better result. I think that has to do with the driver's update. I mean, the RX 5500 is not out yet, so maybe the drivers are not, you know, fully supporting the RX 5500. There are still enhancements we could see. I mean, when you look at the Wolfenstein benchmark, you'd find it, you know, uh, close to a GTX 1650 performance, which is not competitive at all, which makes you feel that there is something wrong, especially when Wolfenstein is a game that used to be scaled well on AMD GPUs. Now, the other source, which is a pretty trusted source, is a YouTube channel called Tech Epiphany, and it's been dropping RX 5500 gameplay and benchmarks. It's a YouTube channel mainly focused on, you know, budget tech and especially AMD tech. I mean, I only saw AMD tech, so they got their hands on the Ryzen 5 3400G back at the day before anyone else could do, or at least they posted before anyone else. And this is the case with the RX 5500, and they just dropped a video of the RX 5500 comparing it to the RX 590. Uh, yeah, I'll leave the link to it down below, but looking at Far Cry comparison, we find that the RX 5500 OC brings up the same performance an RX 590 gives. Maybe the RX 590 takes the edge in terms of the VRAM limitations. I mean, it has, you know, 8 gigabytes of VRAM while the RX 5500 has 4 gigs. But this YouTube channel that called Tech Epiphany back at the day had the Ryzen 5 3400G days before, you know, the other tech reviewers and YouTubers uh, starting to, you know, uh, drop their videos on the Ryzen 5 3400G. So it's just a matter of time. Now, do I recommend you to wait for it? From what it looks, it gives the same performance of the GTX 1650 Super. So it's a matter of picking your side again. Uh, are you an AMD fan or an Nvidia fan? Because it's pretty competitive and the results between the two GPUs are pretty much the same. But if you want to get a GPU right now, then the GTX 1650 Super and you won't regret it. And Nvidia, you know, has, it's a better option for gaming because, you know, it has an NVENC encoder so you can go stream with it. And it should be more silent because it has the third party coolers on it. Maybe we will not see, you know, the RX 5500 with, you know, a better cooling solutions like as soon as possible. So yeah, it's still the GTX 1650 Super has a slight edge there. But why I like AMD because it has a better longevity in terms of driver support. And the AMD GPUs, as I said, they provide the same performance or even better with cheaper prices. That's why, you know, AMD is so competitive. So yeah, if it's me, I would wait for like a week or so. Maybe I get, you know, cheaper prices on these GPUs. So that's it for today's video. If you like this type of videos, please press on that like button and subscribe to see more content of that sort. So stay tuned for tomorrow's video. And that's been it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. And peace.